Let's go ahead and take some time and start discussing uh, another analysis method that we can do, which we're going to call it just simple linear regression. Okay, so let's start off by talking just a little bit about what simple linear regression is. So first of all, the type of data that we're going to handle is numerical by numerical data. So in ANOVA testing, we were dealing with numerical by categorical. We we're interested in some numerical value, and we were comparing different groups to one another. This time, we're going to try to predict some value with another, uh, another numerical value. We are basically doing scatter plots. Like the, we've been doing scatter plots for a long time, whether if you've seen them in science or economics or any other any of your math classes, we've got some x value and some y. So the x is known as our predictor, and y is our response. And simple linear regression is attempting to find, we're attempting to find relationships, find relationship, relationship in data to make predictions. Now we do this all the time. Uh, so X is usually something that is easy to measure and Y is something that we usually are really, is what we're actually interested in, uh, but we it's sometimes hard to measure. So like for example, uh, when we go to the doctor's office, they take lots and lots of measurements. They take measurements of like our, oh, our, blood pressure, they take cholesterol levels, they take height, they take weight. And why do they take all these things? Well, it's because they found some relationship to help predict things like uh, heart disease or to predict uh, cancer. They, and so they're trying to gather in this data so that they can find relationships. And that, that's what, we're, what we are going to be doing here. And specifically, we are going to do fitting of lines. So this line would be the relationship that occurs from our x and our y variables. All right, so yeah, we're trying to find this relationship in the data to make predictions. So specifically, its regression analysis is going to help us determine determine if the relationship is significant and then also determine determine the or basically help us determine how good our fit is determine how good our relationship relationship is. So like here we have a pretty tight relationship, but what if we also had seen something that looked more like this? The question to you would be, it's like, is there still a relationship there? And I'd say, yeah, yeah, there's still a relationship, but now it's like more spread out. There's more noise in the system. So X is still, it's a good predictor uh, but it's not, it doesn't explain away as much of the variance as, as the previous model had. So anyhow, so this is like regression kind of in an itty bitty nutshell. Like we're just, we're trying to find relationships in data. We're trying to fit a line to the data and the regression analysis is going to determine if the relationship that we see is it significant and it's going to try to help us determine how good our relationship is. 
and uh, hopefully that, that this is going to be probably one of the most intuitive sections because we've been doing scatter plots for a very long time uh, in our educational careers and now we're just going to formalize how we can look at these relationships.